Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a new product. It is the Welch's a family farmer own um, the oatmeal bars this one is the strawberry and this one is the uh, grape these were at Meyer for 329 they were in the baking aisle where you get uh, bar just cakes and bars and brownies and stuff like that so we decided we're just going to go ahead and mix up both of them both flavors the, the grape and the strawberry um, put them both in the oven at the same time it's fine so what you need is for both of them you need one third of a cup of butter softened not melted so mine's soft a little melty just a touch but i think it'll be fine and one tablespoon of water you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees you need some kind of pan these are eight by eight uh, we like these throwaway pans so we can just make them and throw them away um, you know if you want to use a regular baking pan that's fine too um, so you need an eight by eight a nine by nine or eleven by seven pan and just i guess the smaller pan the thicker it is uh, 350 for the oven so we're going to stir the bar mix Oh, yeah, so that's better. So I'm going to do both of these. I'm just going to guess that the um, the oat mixture, the bar mixture itself, is probably the same for both of them, if I had to guess. And the only difference is the amount of uh, the, the, the jelly part, the jam part. So this is the, um, this is the bar mixture, and then you've got a, um, like a jelly packet. I'm going to get scissors out. And while I was getting my scissors out, I went ahead and opened the other box up. Um, this one is the strawberry one, not that it matters, because they look exactly the same, but I'll do my best to keep them straight. So the strawberry goes in the big bowl. And then the grape one I'm going to pour in the other bowl. And I'll, I'll just mix one for the video, but that they're they feel the same weight they're the same size and everything so i can't imagine them being any different okay so you need a fork and you need your butter i'm just gonna put my butter in the bowl with the boat mixture put that in your water your uh, one tablespoon of water you basically just mix it up And you reserve a third of a cup. So I'm just gonna take my, uh, I've got a third of a cup measuring cup over here. I'm just kinda gotta scoop some up. Looks like about a third of a cup. And then I'm gonna press the rest of this in the bottom of this pan. It says to um, cut a one a one fourth inch tip um, from the corner. So I wish they put a marking on there what they mean by a fourth of a, an inch. Uh, I'm thinking it's like right about right about there, about that much. And it basically just says um, da -da 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 -da. do not microwave it. Um, squeeze it over the bar mix, but do not spread it. says to basically take um, top with reserve crumble mixture and I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna take it in my hand and kind of drop it on top again it says don't, don't spread anything so you're just kind of dropping it in hunks okay so what I'm gonna do is and then this will go in the oven uh, for an 8 by 8 pan it's gonna go 33 to 34 minutes so I'll put it in 33 and check it at 33 just to see what it's like um, until it's golden brown. So I'm going to mix the other one up, get them both in the oven, and then I'll be back when they're ready. Well, Tammy thought you might want to see what the grape looks like. So we're going to, we came back just to show you what the grape looks like. All right, here they are out of the oven. They were 33 minutes is how long they were in there. They're nice and brown, so I think they're good. Um, it does, this is the directions of the end. Bake as directed below or just or just until golden brown. Store tightly covered. 
that's it. No telling you to cool off or anything, but it's hot, so I can't pick it up a lot. But you can see how flexible and bendy they are. So I think they need to sit for just a little bit at least to cool off before you can, before I don't even think you could slice them right now. Okay, did you give the calories for these? Yeah, um, no. Really, the calories, honestly, are never gonna be exact because it all depends on what kind of butter you use. Uh, because like we use Kerrygold, that has a lot of calories. Uh, one fifteenth of the package, or 33 grams, with the spread is um, 160 calories prepared. So that's including the butter. But you're supposed to get 15 pieces, which we didn't. We got 12. We got 12. And, um, and Tammy couldn't wait to let him cool off, by the way. I was she said, willing to... Do you want me to go ahead and cut them? I can cut them if you really want me to. I said, well, I don't want them to fall apart. Oh, no, I can cut them. And they didn't fall apart, did they? No, they're, they're, they're actually... Um, they're probably the temperature of like a warm apple pie right now. I'm getting on the edge because I like the edge pieces. Mm -hmm. Hot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. That's good, but it's like molten lava. It's not too <laughs> hot. No. Until you get to that fruit. Oh yeah, the fruit's And the fruit is what's holding in the heat. But I think it's delicious. I like the crumble. I like, did you just drop it? I like the the uh, the crumble, the the oatmeal. I like those I oats. It. I yeah, think that's it's delicious. It's really, really good. And the flavor of the strawberry, it's like Welch's strawberry jelly. It's good. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's, the strawberry's not super strong, but it's definitely there. Oh yeah, you know that you're eating strawberry. Yeah. Now this is the grape one. The grape. And this is all out of the middle. We could we didn't get an edge. I love grape. Mm. That's a much stronger flavor. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like literally eating those purple round grapes. Mm-hmm. Or drinking grape juice. I like that one better. It's got more flavor to it, definitely. It, it, yeah, it's just because the flavor is so strong. I'll tell you what though, you better like grape. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you need to like grape. I mean, really, and it's not like a grape chewing gum or something mm -hmm. like that. It's like a, it's like grape jelly. It's like a Concord grape. That's what they. Yeah, say if about. you like, if you like their grape jelly, then you would like this. And I like that stronger than their grape jelly. A little bit, yeah. Well, it's excellent. I love the texture. You get that crunch of the oats, mm -hmm. and the, the oats have a really good flavor to them. This is the oats by themselves. And then you add the, the jam or whatever the jelly to them. Mm -hmm. They're both really, really good. Just whatever flavor you like the best, go for it. Because I don't think you'll be unhappy with either no. one. Especially no. if you like oats and you like fruit. Yeah, that's what it really is. Good. It's oats and fruit. Yeah, it's absolutely delicious. And it was easy to do. Yeah, the, I thought it would be a pain to stir it up into the, with the butter and stuff. It wasn't. No, um, it was no big deal at all. I didn't even really, I, I told you I softened it, but I softened it in the microwave. I put it in there for like the butter. 10, I put it in there for 10 seconds and it softens it enough to where it's not melty. It was no different than making a graham cracker crust. No, really super, super Same easy. thing. So, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you can find them in your area and thanks for watching.